Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, and share. This is a painting I did when I was back in art school at the University of Texas at El Paso. And I painted this in 2012, when my very first painting it was how we ended the term. So we had to paint something that resembled the work of somebody else. And I had just gone to Spain and seen Francis Bacon at the Museo del Prado. And I fell in love with the work of Francis Bacon, just the way he captured the male figure or just any type of figure is just really interesting. Let me show you some of the most notable works of Francis Bacon right here. He did some of the Pope, which this is kind of inspired, just how this face is kind of pulling apart. The way he did that of the Pope is where I got that from. And then he had just distortion of the male form kind of mutilated so I took all that from the paintings I saw of his and then I had seen this image the French rugby I think it was that they do their annual nude calendar I think it was so I, it was three images of a man in the shower but I distorted their faces Francis Bacon was inspired a lot by Picasso and surrealism so it kind of has that you know this kind of reminds me of the faces of Las Señoritas de Avignon, but this was mainly um, inspired by Bacon. Well, Francis Bacon was born on January 22nd, 1561, and he died on the 9th of April, 1626. He was born in London, and even though he was married, he was attracted to the same sex. So that's why I painted this image here with these three men in here to kind of, you know, symbolize the attraction that he did feel for the same sex. And I want to put this in my bedroom. I want to make it kind of sexy. Give this new life, because I feel it's just been collecting dust for the last, what? Seven years. Only seven years? I thought he was older. Yeah. Yeah, seven years. I thought he was older. But anyway, it needs some revamping. And I've said before that I don't like text in painting, but I'm going to use text this time. And then the whole idea of being attracted to the same sex and just having that inspire what I'm about to write on here is something that when you're in the act, you tend to ask. So I'm going to do the text in cursive because I feel that cursive is something that people don't use anymore. And I want to bring it back. So I'm going to get some gesso. Hopefully I remember how to write in cursive. So do we have did, did what? Did you come? And I purposely added a, well, made that messy, you know what I mean. And then, did you come yet? I think this is too low. should put the question mark or not. Well, obviously, he did. So, my bedroom is predominantly white, so that's why I added the white text, and I want it to be, you know, kind of like a sexy painting, so when someone comes over, it will be interesting to talk about the work and why I did it and what it means, but it's merely just bringing life back to this painting that was 
locked away, stashed away, collecting dust. And you know, I don't know, I think it makes it fun. It's kind of quirky and kind of sexy. And who doesn't like quirky and sexy? But anyway, tell me what you think about the painting. Leave it all in the comments below. I feel like I need to fix that part. And until next time, adios, goodbye. Close up.